let's turn this into this. Make sure you hit that subscribe and check out the video now. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you checking my videos out. Today, I'm, I have an Intex pool here and these plastic tubes come with the sand pump that I have. And I'm gonna switch those over to PVC today from here, here, and it's gonna connect right here. The rest of it I'm gonna leave alone because this tubing is a lot better quality than this. This stuff cracks real bad uh, in the sun and it, it, I never get more than a year out of them. so. I'm gonna swap uh, this whole setup over to PVC. Okay, so forgive me. I don't know the name of every little piece that I have here. I just know I figured it all out and this is exactly what I need. So to start, I need a PVC cutter or, or a saw. You're gonna need your primer and cement here. Okay, so the inlets where the water comes in, I measured uh, these three quarters are gonna work. I'm gonna put them on the inside. Let me show you that. Okay, so I got the, the tubes off basically this three quarter inch PVC will fit in here pretty good. And then I'll hose clamp it right there. So that's how that's gonna connect. Um, the other side, now on my pool, I have this that you can put on there. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use this anymore. I mean, it works pretty good, but once I take that plug out, I might just leave the hole. It depends on how far in I can get the PVC and get a good hold, we'll see. Okay, so like I said, I don't know all the technical names for everything. I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. So here's my three quarter. I need three quarter to go to an inch and a half. So here's my adapter here. This will go into here just like that, okay? On both ends. Then I need a T in the middle. I cut this little piece here, that'll go there. Then my valve will go here. That way I can stop my water flow if I need to. Then I'm gonna extend it down a little bit more. And I'm gonna elbow that over and I'm gonna do that. Now, you need to go from inch and a half to two inch threaded, because that's what um, the white hose connects to. Now, my local store didn't have, you know, one piece to, to, to adapt it all. So I had to use one, two, three pieces. But however you can make it work, just find the pieces you can. So that's basically all your pieces. I'm gonna dry fit it so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I just kind of dry fit it all together real quick. That's basically how you can see. So let's walk it over to the pool and I'll show you if I can how it's gonna look. So obviously I already did all my measurements. So that's gonna kind of be just like that and then go down there and I'll connect the white hose down there. So I'm, I'm probably gonna need a stake or some kind of brace right here uh, because this, I could attach it to the beam but it's too far over. If the beam was here, it'd work. but. Um, I'm gonna need to put a pole or something in the ground so I can connect this. Okay, a couple things to make note of. For me, it took two hose clamps um, to stop the leaking. I think it's my fault. I used the, um, the thinner PVC. I should have used the Schedule 40. So if you do it, use the Schedule 40 PVC. This is all I had. I'll probably change it down the road, but uh, I got the leaking stopped for now. The other thing is, where this connects to this you have to have that rubber piece in here it looks like this okay which goes just like that it's not thick enough when you go to the pvc because it's not really made to work like that so i used uh, i cut i had some rubber a sheet of rubber so you might want to use something thicker this is quarter inch so i'm going to see if it'll seal it up okay here is the moment of truth piece I took off that's how it looks I, I had this stake that was holding the other plumbing up I just pounded it further in the ground I moved it back and I put a zip tie that way it's just it stabilized this ain't going nowhere um, so there's the hook up there let's uh, open the valve let's make sure we don't have any leaks I can hear the water flowing doesn't sound like there's any issues. I don't see any leaks. Let's turn the pump on. Let's we'll see what happens. It's 
gonna take a little bit. Oh, I gotta open the mouth. There we go. I guess that would make more sense. Okay, I got really good flow. This is a stronger than normal flow for my pool. Okay, so that is good. Let's check back again for leaks. Okay, that's how it looks, guys. I'm pretty happy with that. Not too bad. Uh, I'd say total, it probably cost me about 30 bucks. The, the ball valve you see there in the middle is the most expensive part. Um, other than that, I think I got better flow out of it. Um, it looks cleaner to me. And these things crack every single year where those will last for a long time. That is gonna wrap this video up. Very pleased with how it looks. I'm very pleased with the water return. Make sure you check out my video on the Intex skimmer. I'll put the link in the description. Also, I did a video on pool lights and I'll put that link in the description. So again, remember to subscribe and, and like the video if it helped you. Uh, if you have any comments at all, you can uh, send them my way and I'm pretty quick to respond. So thank you again for your time and thank you for watching my video. Have a good day.